Hey, hey, and welcome back to the Business Real Talk. On this episode, we're going to talk about what it looks like to get your lurkers and looky-loos, you know, those people who hang out on your list or your audience but don't actually buy, buying. So let's get real. You've worked hard to grow and cultivate an audience, but holy crap, it feels like so many of them are saying that you're great, but they're not actually buying. And maybe you're creating endless amounts of content, trying to get them to say yes, and you're creating more touch points in the DMs with small offers and another workshop. And it's time to get them off the sidelines as lurkers and looky-loos and turn them into clients who buy or say goodbye. So here's the truth. Most businesses have a one lane process for how they actually convert leads. Meaning you're expecting that everyone comes into your world and gets to a yes in the same way. But psychologically, that's impossible. Different buyer types are in different buying states and require a different process and a different message in order to buy. That's like taking the top chefs in America to a cheap buffet and asking them to just find something they like. It doesn't work and it's likely why you found yourself with a bunch of people who are on your list or in your audience that are lurking and not buying. So in this episode, I'm going to specifically share how to get your mid-intent lurkers and looky-loos off the sidelines and into your DMs or booking calls to say yes. So let's get real. The number one reason that your lurkers stay stuck is because you're educating instead of activating. Here's the deal. Educational content is geared towards keeping people stuck. It sounds totally backwards, but when you understand why, you'll see why this actually happens. You're over here trying to educate people and give them as much value as humanly possible. And while this is well-meaning and well-intentioned, it serves as a barrier for those who are actually looking to make a decision and buy. Now, lurkers and looky-loos specifically are what I call mid-intent leads. They're the Sherlock Holmes buyers. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I want you to Pause this episode and quickly listen to episode 43, where I break down the different buyer types and how to actually get them to buy faster in detail. But as a quick recap, Sherlock Holmes buyers are natural consumers of information. They like to do their research, right? But what you need to understand is that they're not just coming to you. They're also spending countless hours going down the rabbit hole of information, trying to get more information to make that decision. And when you give them more education, one of two things happen. Number one, they become overwhelmed. Just like a turtle sensing danger, they retreat back into their shell, trying to overcome the decision fatigue of processing more information in hopes of making the right decision. Now, educational content is like trying to quench someone's thirst with a fire hose. Instead of providing relief, you're actually drowning them in confusion and making an already difficult situation even more difficult. Now, the second thing that might be happening is that they feel satisfied enough with the quick win of information that you're giving them right now. So a great example of this is maybe right now you're giving them three to five DIY tips they can start applying. Now, the problem is it's probably not enough to move them to the next state, but what it is doing is giving them enough information to allow them to kind of step back and go down this new rabbit hole of trying to apply it and trying to get to a resolution. Only increasing the sales cycle and leading them further down the space of not being ready to buy. The reality is everyone, and I really do mean everyone, in marketing benefits more from clarity than they do from education. Because clarity removes decisions, it removes thoughts, and it removes the information that we're bombarded with, and it gives way to direction. Effectively activating your audience to take action, which is exactly what we want when we're running a business, right? Now, this is why our process inside the EZS method focuses on activating your audience through disruptive belief shifts. Instead of overwhelming your lurkers with more information, we arm them with the clarity and direction, which moves them to a state of action because they're no longer consumed by trying to figure out what they should be focusing on. So let me give you a quick example using some simple messaging to show you what it looks like before and after when you go from education to activation. So a before version would be five steps to eating a low FODMAP diet to lose weight. This is focused on convincing and educating and giving enough information in hopes that suddenly they'll be ready to buy. Now the after version or the activation version is here's why low fat diets are making the numbers on the scale go up instead of down and how to fix it in just 30 days. 
This focuses on moving people into a state of action first and foremost, but also activates them. It allows them to know that, hey, the reason low fat diets aren't working are because of this. And here's what you need to do instead, giving them clarity, giving them direction, giving them that activation to take the next step. Now that you understand what it looks like to move from education to activation, we need to talk about what it looks like to actually teach your audience to buy instead of consume. Now, what I want you to understand is that we ultimately condition our audience on how to treat us and ultimately how to buy from us. Regardless of the buyer type, it's up to us to set the expectation of why people come into our worlds and what we want them to do when they are in our world. It sounds really simple, yet so many people are doing this backwards. They're teaching their audience to become expert consumers of information, positioning sales calls as coaching calls, promoting that you have 20 hours of free content inside your Facebook group, DMing people, pretending like you're interested in them just to look for your opportunity to pounce and pitch. It's a backhanded way of trying to sneak in a sales pitch, which is really silly when you think about it. You'd never walk into a doctor's office and expect them to just give you free advice and fix all your problems without paying. Now, neither should your audience expect that of you if you've conditioned them to buy instead of consume. So here's a quick audit you can run to see if you've set your audience up to consume or to buy. Number one is can they say yes to working with you or to taking the next step of working with you, whether that's booking a call, filling out an application, et cetera, within 48 hours of meeting you. And number two, and arguably the most important question that you need to answer is what is the incentive, the carrot that you're dangling for people to enter your world and to stay in your world? Now, I wanna give you a quick example so you can understand the difference. Now, right now, if you're enticing your prospective clients to join your Facebook group for 20 hours of free content, you're actively teaching them how to consume and not to buy. So I need you to answer the question of what incentive are you using for people to both enter your world and then to stay in your world? I want you to send me a quick DM over on Instagram at Next Level Up CEO and share with me what is your current incentive and I'll show you how you can optimize it right now. Now the third and final question is, have you made it explicit of what your intent is? Now for years, I would get really frustrated and annoyed that people would DM me to just try and pick my brain. Yet I had actually never made it explicit what my intent was with DMing me. Now you're in control of making that intent explicit. Whether your intent is in your marketing, your nurture space, or your sales call, you teach people how to treat you and how to buy from you. Now using the easy yes method, we condition our mid-intent leads, those lurk and looky lose to buy from us via our one touch content system. Now, as I stated before, different buyer types make decisions differently. And my clients and I focus specifically on speaking to the two top buyers, your high intent and your mid intent. But I also know and recognize that each of those people make decisions differently. So I have to be able to address their needs differently. This is why we have the only two lane sales highway in existence. Now, a great way to understand this is right now, when people enter our world, they come in through our content system. Now we move them immediately into our bingeable sales system. Think of this as like a sorting and segmenting system. Now, once people enter into that system, our high intent leads can come and move to a yes quickly, in our case, booking a call. And our mid intent leads are then tagged and placed back into our content system, creating an infinite selling opportunity. So where other systems are focusing on solely just churning through leads and giving them one selling opportunity, meaning that they're bringing people in, selling to everyone using just one system like a webinar, a live launch content, et cetera, and then either churning them through, meaning that they're pushing them through their funnel and hoping that it becomes a conversion. Or the second thing is that they'll either push them through that and then leave the rest of them to sit and wait. Meaning that if you're lucky, you're taking Taking them through that same cycle over and over again. And you're hoping that if we use the same system, like your webinar, your live launch, or your content, sharing the same information, that eventually they'll purchase after several rounds of going through that. But that's like assuming that people are just not buying because of time or trust is the only factor. And it forces you to give them the same information over and over again hoping that it produces a new result, which is pretty much the definition of insanity, isn't it? And it's a little backwards when you really think about it. Now, instead, what we do is we meet our high intent buyers with their own process. It's what allows us to take them through our bingeable selling system. Not only does that meet them in their buying process, but it allows us to also sort through and understand that the people who haven't purchased yet can now be moved into our mid intent process, which is our one touch content system. Simply put, what it does is it specifically leverages different triggers each week and allows them to make their own buying decision 
over the course of a weekly client acquisition process. So instead of feeding them the same information, expecting it to just magically work, we take them through a decision journey process that meets their specific and unique needs on a four piece content system. This not only expedites decisions, but also increases the number of conversions we get without requiring so much time, effort, and energy, or asking people to just make decisions based on the same information. This allows us to pinpoint each individual prospect's exact trigger to buy and gives them a weekly runway to move to a yes. So let's say you came into my world right now because you wanted to learn about my bingeable sales system, but you're not quite sold when you go through it the first time. Now, instead of me just trying to push you through that same system over and over again and hitting you with the same thing, expecting different results, I can instead move people from my bingeable system and into my one touch content system. So each week I'm able to support them in a decision making journey and tackle a different angle, a different area of, of concern and help them make a decision that leads to that yes faster and with less effort. So my looky lose don't have to stay in my world for huge long periods of time trying to agonize over whether or not I'm the right decision for them, but instead gives them the activated approach to what information they need that meets their specific uses and their specific triggers moving to that next stage. There's no guessing, there's no hoping, it's strategic and methodical. Which leads us to the third and final piece of actually getting your lurkers and looky-loos off the sidelines and into buying. Mid-intent buyers or looky-loos are what I call fence sitters. They can and want to buy, but right now they're being held back by fear or overwhelm or because they're not fully convinced that you have the solution to their unique problem. Now, it's like knowing that you want a Chanel purse and you have the means to buy it, but double guessing if you should get the clutch or the crossbody or hell, if you should just wait and buy something else altogether. And there's two emotions that we tap into and need to speak to in order to move them off the sidelines and into the game. The first one is confidence. Now, I already broke down for you how the one touch content system works. But what I want you to realize is gaining their confidence and helping them understand that is by tackling their specific and unique needs. Now we can't do that if we're just taking them through the same system over and over again and expecting a different result. So instead, that's why we leverage the one touch content system to meet their specific different angle, their different trigger, their different demand and meet them where they're at to move them to a decision through a weekly client acquisition process. Now, if you haven't already touched on their trigger and you're just giving them more of the same information, you're never going to get them to buy and they're never going to feel confident that you have the solution to their problems. Now, the second emotion that we need to be able to tap into is them feeling safe. Now, right now, we need to be able to address the fear associated with saying yes. They're asking themselves questions like, is this the right time? What if it's not the right fit? How do I know if this is going to work with me? Now, the best and easiest way for you to address that and develop safety for your audience is to help your looky-loos and lurkers experience the change firsthand. So using things like sales calls or monthly hands-on workshops, lives, etc., a place where they can experience your genius and your process firsthand hand is what's going to create that safety for your lurkers to be able to move to the next stage. This layered approach to not only understanding, but also addressing each buyer with their own unique process to a conversion is what makes our strategy so effective. It's why our clients are wildly successful because it's driven by human behavior. It respects and honors individuals on their own personal journey to a decision. And it systemizes it all, creating a data-backed engineered approach to turning your two best leads into buyers quickly and efficiently. Now we covered a lot today and truly this is just one piece of the puzzle behind my EZS method. And it's the reason why 416 of my clients have deemed working with us the best investment they've ever made. So let's break down what this looks like. The first step to the EZS method is what we call the innovative advantage. It's how we actually articulate the gravity of what you do and position it in a way that makes you the only solution to their problems. Now, we talked about this already, but people are bombarded with information. And if you look and sound like everyone else, they're going to compare you, making you just one solution of many. But what we want to do instead is harness the innovation within your process and be able to position that in a clearly articulated and repeatable way so that you're audience instantly understands not only what you do, how you do it, but why that's the only solution to their problems. Effectively taking you from being one of millions of solutions to the only solution. 
It's what allows my clients to five to 10 X their prices and have clients line up to work with them because they know that they're the only solution to their problems, which leads us to step number two, what we call the infinite selling system. Now, what this does is again, it takes that two lane approach. We start with our bingeable sales system. This is where we leverage the power of the Netflix effect and get your leads to sell themselves through a bingeable on demand series, which sorts and moves our mid intent leads into our one touch content system, which allows us to speak to and address their unique needs, creating faster and more efficient conversions with less effort from your part. This is how you get your leads to sell themselves without needing to pressure or convince any step of the way, which leads us to the third step in the process, what we call our pure profit strategy. Now, in order to truly drive a sustainable business, one that creates high profit margins, you need to be able to actually deliver on the results you've promised. And this is why we take results to a whole new level by systemizing the delivery of your programs so you can get world-class results for your your clients at scale and create a retention plan that keeps them on for long term without needing any extra marketing to get there which leads us to the next step in how we take what we've learned here today and take it to the next level. I wanna invite you to submit your application for our growth optimization call. Now this call is done with me personally and what we'll do is we'll get on a call, no convincing, no pressure, but we're gonna look at what your current process looks like for how you're actually acquiring clients. And on that call specifically, I'll share with you where I see the biggest optimization points and how the EZS method can be applied within your business. Now I wanna be clear that we're highly selective on who we bring on and if we even make an invitation to the next steps because we want to ensure that we can deliver on the results that we promise. So the next step is to go ahead and head on over to easysleads.com backslash call to apply for our growth optimization call. But if you want to learn a little bit more about how our EZS method actually works to get your leads to sell themselves using the Netflix effect, I want to invite you to check out our free bingeable series over at easysleads.com. And as always, we love and appreciate when you like, subscribe, and rate the podcast. But until next time, here's to keeping it real.